Hello everyone. Welcome to our fisheries board exam review here on YouTube. Our videos aim to help fisheries graduates increase their chances of passing the licensure examination for fisheries professionals. In every episode, we answer and explain 20 questions from the major fields of fisheries. In this episode, our review questions are from aquatic ecology and resources. But before we continue, if you are new to this channel, we make videos related to fishery matters, including review questions, lectures, trivias, and some basic fishery skills. So, if you like these kinds of contents, please subscribe in our YouTube channel, and hit the notification bell so that you will receive new updates. So, let's begin. Approximately, how many percent of the Earth's surface is covered by the water? A. 50% B. 85% C. 71% D. 60% The correct answer is C. 71% The Earth is a watery place. But just how much water exists on, in, and above our planet? About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water, and the oceans hold about 96.5% of all Earth's water. About 2.5% are the fresh water that are mostly locked up in ice and in the ground, and only 1% are the fresh water that are readily available. Water also exists in the air as water vapor, in rivers and lakes, in ice caps and glaciers, in the ground as soil moisture and in aquifers. Water is never sitting still. Thanks to the water cycle, our planet's water supply is constantly moving from one place to another and from one form to another. Things would get pretty stale without the water cycle. What do you call the organisms that have a narrow tolerance to temperature? A. Urihaline B. Stenothermic C. Urothermic D. Stenohaline the correct answer is B. Stenothermic Before we explain the other options, we must be familiarized first with the following terms. The prefix steno means, narrow or small tolerance to a parameter, such as salinity, temperature or food. The prefix uri means, broad or wide tolerance to a parameter. The term haline refers to salinity, while the term thermic, refers to temperature. So, when we say you're a haline species, it has wide or broad tolerance to salinity. The term urothermic, means having wide or broad tolerance to temperature. And the term stenohaline, have narrow tolerance to salinity. Which of the following, does not belong to the group? A. Sargassum B. Harley Maida. C. Calerpa. D. Andromorpha. The correct answer is A. Sargassum. Why is it that sargassum does not belong to the group? Among the options, sargassum is the only member of the phylum Acrophyta, formerly known as Phyphyta, or the brown algae. Harley Maida. Colerpa, and Enteromorpha are all members of phylum Chlorophyta, or the green algae. This zone, is the depth wherein the illumination, or light, is too weak for photosynthesis. What is this? A. Photic zone B. Aphotic zone C. Dysphotic zone D. Euphotic zone the correct answer is C. Dysphotic zone The dysphotic zone is found just below the photic zone and is also known as the twilight layer. In this zone, only a small amount of light penetrates the water, and plants do not grow here due to the insufficient amount of light. The photic zone is the, the photosynthetic zone wherein light can penetrate. This is where the phytoplankton and other photoautotrophs are found. In aphotic zone, light cannot penetrate, 
and can be characterized by total darkness. Euphotic zone, is the other term for photic zone, of which light can penetrate and be used for photosynthesis. What type of shellfish poisoning, commonly causes the red tide? A. Amnesiac shellfish poisoning B. Paralytic shellfish poisoning C. Diuretic shellfish poisoning D. Neurotoxic shellfish poisoning The correct answer is B. Paralytic shellfish poisoning The paralytic shellfish poisoning is caused by saxitoxin produced by the dinoflagellate alexandrium and pyridinium. Diatoamnesiac shellfish poisoning, is caused domoic acid, a toxin produced by pseudonitsha, a genus of diatom. Diuretic shellfish poisoning, is caused by dinophysis toxins, a toxin produced by dinoflagellate dinophysis and prorosantrum. And neurotoxic shellfish poisoning, is caused by brevitoxin, a toxin produced by another dinoflagellate. Gymnodinium breathe. What term is used to describe the group of individuals belonging to the same species? A. Species. B. Ecosystem. C. Community. D. Population. The correct answer is D. Population. Population is also the number of individuals of a particular species in an area. Animal and plant populations depend on many things for survival. Limiting factors like the availability of food, water, and shelter, can impact an organism's population. The term species, is a group of living organisms consisting of similar individuals, capable of exchanging genes or interbreeding. The ecosystem, is a biological community of interacting organisms, and their physical environment. Which of the following organisms, is a producer in an aquatic environment? A. Milkfish B. Turtle grass C. Green turtle D. Rotifer The correct answer is B. Turtle grass. Milkfish is a primary consumer, particularly a herbivorous species. The green turtle is also a consumer, feeding on seagrass, jellyfish, and small fishes. Rotifer is the zooplankton which is a primary consumer. They feed on chlorella and other phytoplankton. Ecosystem services, are the many and varied benefits to humans provided by the natural environment, and from healthy ecosystems. Which of the following is not a form of ecosystem services? A. Protection from big waves and storm surges. B. Provides shelter to juvenile organisms. C. It serves as feeding ground for commercially important species. D area for the usage of destructive activities. The correct answer is D. Area for the usage of destructive activities. There are four general types of ecosystem services. Provisioning services, regulating services, cultural services, and the supporting services. Provisioning services, are the products obtained from ecosystems, including, for example, genetic resources, food and fiber, and fresh water. Regulating services, are the benefits obtained from the regulation of ecosystem processes, including, for example, the regulation of climate, water, and some human diseases. Cultural services, are the non-material benefits people obtain from ecosystems through spiritual enrichment, cognitive development, reflection, recreation, and aesthetic experience, including, for example, knowledge systems, social relations, and aesthetic values. And supporting services, are ecosystem services that are necessary for the production of all other ecosystem services. Some examples include biomass production, production of atmospheric oxygen, 
soil formation and retention, nutrient cycling, water cycling, and provisioning of habitat. Examples of ecosystem services provided by coral reefs, mangrove forests, and seagrass beds, are the following. They provide protection from big waves and storm surges, particularly the coral reefs and mangrove forests. Coral reefs, mangroves forests, and seagrass beds, also provide shelter to many juvenile organisms. Similarly, these marine habitats, are known to be feeding grounds for many commercially important species. Which of the following, is not a lentic water system? A. Tal Lake B. Cagayan River C. Agusan Marsh D. Lake Minot The correct answer is Bikagayan River Lenthic water systems, are standing waters, like lakes, ponds, swamps, among others. Lodic water systems, are running waters, which include rivers, streams, brooks, and channels. Tal Lake, Agusan Marsh, and Lake Minot, are examples of lentic water system. On the other hand, Cagayan Rivers, is an example of lotic water system. Chlorophyta, is a taxon of green algae informally called chlorophytes. They are found in marine environments, but 90% of them are found in freshwater environment. Like the land plants, chlorophytes have chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, and store food as starch. Which of the following is a chlorophyte? A. Pedina minor B. Chlorophyll racemosa C. Capophycus alvarezii D. Sargassum polycystum the correct answer is B. Chlorophyllosa. Pedina minor and Sargassum polycystum are acrophytes or brown algae, and Capophycus alvarezii is a rhodophyte or red algae. It is the deeper water zone in streams where velocity of current is reduced, and silt and other materials tend to settle to the bottom. What is this? A. Littoral zone B. Rapid or riffle zone C. Profundal zone D. Pool zone The correct answer is D. Pool zone The rapids or riffle zones, are the areas where the water is fast enough to keep the bottom clear of materials. The littoral zone, is where the aquatic rooted vegetation can be found. And the profundal zone, is a deep water zone containing heterotrophs only. Which of the following, is not a mangrove species? A. Rhizophora apiculata B. Lumnitsura littoria C. Sunaracia alba D. The Lacedendron ciliatum. The correct answer is D. The Lacedendron ciliatum. The Lacedendron ciliatum is a seagrass species under the family Cymodiociae. The other choices are mangrove species. Rhizophora piculata is under family Rhizophoraceae. Lumnitsura litteria is under family Combratacea. Sunaracea alba is under family Lithraceae. This refers to aquatic organisms that have limited or no means of self locomotion and move about due to the action of waves and currents. A. Benthos. B. Epiphytes. C. Plankton. D. Nectin. The correct answer is C. Plankton There are two types of plankton. Those that are planktonic all throughout their life cycle, called holoplankton. 
and those that are planktonic all in some part of their life cycle, called meroplankton. Nectin, are pelagic animals that can swim freely, independent of water motion or wind. Epiphytes, are any plant that grows on the surface of another plant or object merely for physical support. Benthos, are the community of organisms that live on, in, or near the seabed, river, lake, or stream bottom. Plankton that spend their entire life cycle as free swimming organisms are called, blank. A. Holoplankton. B. Meroplankton. C. Mesophotic plankton. D. Zooplanktivore. The correct answer is A. Holoplankton. As discussed in other questions, meroplankton are organisms that are planktonic only a part of their lives, usually during the larval stage, and become either nectin or benthos after. Mesophotic zooplankton are plankton found in the mesophotic zone or midwater zone. And zooplanktivores are organisms that eats or consumes zooplankton. And now, for our last question in this review episode. Identify this substance, that gives acrophytes its brownish coloration. A. Phycobilin B. Fucoxanthin C. Chlorophyll D. Phycoerythrin The correct answer is B. Fucoxanthin Fucoxanthin is a major carotenoid found in the chloroplasts of brown seaweeds and diatoms. It makes a complex with chlorophyll protein, and plays an important role in light harvesting and photoprotection for effective light utilization and upregulation of photosynthesis. Phycobilin is a photosynthetic pigment found in red algae and cyanobacteria. Chlorophyll is a photosynthetic pigment found in higher plants and green algae. And phycoerythrin is a photosynthetic pigment found in red algae. That's all for today's review episode. I hope that you have learned something from us. Should you have any question or clarification, please feel free to contact us, or type it in the comments section. We will be happy to try our best to answer at the soonest possible time. We also suggest, that you read anything that is related to fisheries matters. Keep safe always, everyone.